very lightning-y, isn't it? Oh, there's some more. And it set fire to the farm. Wheeler is on his way to go trick-or-treating, and that fire is looking like it might be out of control. Poor Wheeler. He's going to come around that corner and run straight into... Ah! A fire at the farm! What can Wheeler do? He could make cookies. Or he could dance. Oh, there's Hector the tractor. Maybe he can help. Hector, there's a fire at the farm, says Wheeler. Now, I could make cookies or I could dance. But I think we need to make hose the fire engine. Quickly! Hector races off to get the parts to build hose the fire engine. Quickly. Let's get those parts on the flatbed. Quickly. Then Hector races back to Wheeler in the farm. Oh, I said races, Hector. Now, in order to build Hose the Fire Engine, we start with the body. Next, there's the big red storage compartment. And of course, the ladder. Then there's the bumper. <laughs> Have to watch out for bumps. Relax, Wheeler. And we have four wheels. Two on one side, two on the other side. Next, we have the wing mirrors. Clunk, clink. Two headlights. Very important at night. And a bell, and a light, and a siren. And of course, no fire engine without a hose could be called... Hose. <laughs> Ta-da! Hi, Hose. Wheeler says, I was driving along on my way to go trick-or-treating and... Put out that fire, says Hector. Whoosh goes the water from Hose's hose. Right where it's needed to put that fire out. Naughty lightning. Soon the fire is out and Wheeler can go trick-or-treating with his friends. Thank you, Hose. Hey, Hector, who are you going to dress up as for trick-or-treating? Oh, I think I'm going to dress up like Hector. Wheeler is getting some big boxes delivered today by Hook. Thank you, Hook. Now Wheeler just needs to push them into the garage. That'll be easy. All Wheeler has to do is... Oh, um, oh, that's hard. Uh, I think we need Hector the tractor. Hi, Hector. These boxes are too heavy. I think Wheeler has a problem. And Hector thinks we need a lift from Ray's. So, off Hector goes. Let's put Ray's parts onto the flatbed and get back to work. Okay, so now we need to assemble Ray's. First, we start with the body. Then we put on the bumper. Very important in case you bump. Next, we have the wings. Two of them go on one side and two of them go on the other side. And now we have the wheels and two of those go on each side as well. These are the two side mirrors. Very important. And we also have to have Raze's cap with a light on the top. Finally, we put on Raze's fork and Raze becomes Raze. Hi, Raze. Okay, let's get those boxes in to the garage. Yay! That sure helped Wheeler out a lot. Without Raze's strength and his special forks, we'd still have boxes in the street. Not good. Thank you, Rays, and thank you too, Hector. See you next time. Bye! It's time for the school run, and Mom is at the bus stop with Green and Bo and, um, oh yeah, Whirly. Mom is a bit nervous because the bus hasn't shown up yet, but the kids are loving it. No, oh, what am I going to do, she thinks. I'm supposed to have an oil change today, and I have cookies to bake, and I... In the meantime, Hector's on his way to town. Morning, Mama, says Hector. Oh, hi, Hector. The bus hasn't come, and we're late, and could you possibly... Thank you! 
Hector is on his way to pick up the parts to build Paige the school bus. Let's get him on the flatbed, get him on the flatbed, let's make Paige for Mama. Let's get him on the flatbed, get him on the flatbed, let's make Paige for Mama. So, if you want to build Paige the school bus, you start with the body. Then, you gotta have that bumper. Bump. Next, we need to put on the doors because, um, well, you need to be able to get on the bus. <laughs> After that, we have two headlights. And four wheels. These are, in fact, the famous wheels on the bus that you've heard so much about. Then, we put on two wing mirrors. Clunk, clink. And lastly, our sign that says, Bus. And there she is, Paige the bus. Hi, Paige. Okay, let's get those kids on the bus. Whirly. Bo. And you, Green. Now, to coin a phrase, let's make the wheels on the bus go round and round. And here we are at school, on time. Thank you, Paige. Oh, thank you, Hector, says Mama. My pleasure, Mama. Bye. Oh, there's Rapido on his way back to the station, when suddenly, vroom! Wheeler goes rushing by, and Rapido thinks, um, oh dear, I better put on my siren and stop Wheeler going so fast. Wheeler, stop! No, says Wheeler. It's a lovely day, and I'm faster than you. This is a race. A race? Says Rapido. I'm an officer of the law. I'm not supposed to race. Then don't, says Wheeler. I'm faster than you anyway, because I can go vroom and vroom and big rock in the middle of the road. Uh -oh. Rapido turns around really fast and heads back to the top of the cliff. You okay? Says Rapido. Yeah, says Wheeler. But can cars climb trees? Don't know, but I think I should call Hector. Calling all Hectors, calling all Hectors. And there's good old Hector on his way to help. Okay, Rapido, this looks like a job for Tug, the tow truck. Be right back. So Hector heads off to get all the parts needed to make Tug the tow truck. There's quite a few. Let's get rolling. Roll them out, Hector. Roll them out, Hector. Roll them out, Hector. Roll them. Nice to see you back, says Rapido. To build Tug the tow truck, you start with the flatbed. Then you put on the cabin. And of course, the bumper. Next, we put on the wings. Some people call them wheel arches. There's four of them, and they go over the wheels. And, of course, we won't get far without the wheels. There are four of those, too. Two on each side. Next, we have the hydraulics. That's the machinery that makes the boom go up and down. And we have two headlights, two wing mirrors, clunk, clink, a super duper siren and light assembly, and finally, the main boom and hook. Ta da! Hi, Tug! Tug is going to lower her hook down to Wheeler, who's a bit frightened. Then she's gonna, um, hook him. And pull, and pull, and pull, and up comes. Wheeler! Hooray! Thanks, Tug. And Hector. Hey, Hector, you think Wheeler's gonna get a speeding ticket? Yup. Oh, look! There's Stitch the ambulance. She's going very fast because she has to get to the hospital quickly. You see, the hospital is just on the other side of the bit. Oh, no! The bridge is broken! It fell down! What should we do? Panic and run around? No, that won't help. We need a new bridge. Stitch things. Maybe Hector can help. 
Go Hector, go Hector, help Stitch, help Stitch. And there's Hector. Hector, help Stitch, help Stitch. Hector, I need to get to the other side of the bridge quickly and the bridge fell down and can you... Thank you, Hector. Hector is going to get all the parts needed to build Skylar the helicopter. Roll them out, Hector. Hector, roll them out, Hector, roll them out. Here we go, says Hector. To build Skylar the helicopter, you start with the body. Then you put on the landing skids. There are two of those, and they go underneath. Then you need the tail boom. It doesn't actually go boom. It's the tail piece at the back. Next, you put on the tail rotor. That's the little propeller at the back. And finally, you put on the main rotor blade. That's what makes Skylar go into the sky. And ta-da! There's Skylar in the helicopter. Skylar is going to get a replacement bridge. And believe me, it's very, very heavy. But Skylar can do it because she's so strong. Careful. And there we go. Job done. Thank you, Skylar. Now Stitch can get to the hospital. You're very welcome, says Skylar. Bye. Now Stitch can cross the bridge and get to the hospital on time. Hey, Stitch, why were you in such a hurry? Um, I forgot. <laughs> Bye, Hector.